So I'm going to show you how to make a vegan cheese and I'm going to use cashews. These have been soaking for two to three hours so that they can blend into a nice and smooth texture. So I'm going to add my soaked cashews into a blender. You can use any type of blender. Just gonna add some water. So we're gonna add our mixture into non-metal bowl. We've got a probiotic pill and this is what is going to age our cheese and sort of make it acidic and smell cheesy. So we're gonna add one little capsule. It's really important that you open it up and that you don't add the whole capsule in and give it a stir. So this is where the utensils and uh, the actual bowl is really important. If you stir with a metal utensil or you have it in a metal bowl, then your uh, bacteria is more likely to not survive and it, the whole fermentation process won't be the same. So this mixture stays out of the fridge for 24 hours, so it's a really good idea to do this the night before. And you can just cover it up with a muslin cloth. Don't put plastic film on top, and if you do put, put plastic film on top, you need to put holes so that the mixture can breathe. So our mixture has been outside of the fridge for 24 hours, and it sort of, it already smells cheesy and you can see a little bit of bubbles coming through. So we're gonna flavor it now. It's really important to be very generous with salt because normal cheese has quite a lot of salt in it. So good amount of salt. So greaseproof paper on a flat surface that you can easily take up and stick in the fridge. One of these fancy metal rings that you can buy in any kitchen shop. So we're gonna pop that on here and this is metal now and it's okay to use this because the cheese has already fermented for the right amount of time and you've already got the taste and the texture there. So you just put some olive oil on the inside of this ring. So that it easily pops out. We're gonna add our cheese mixture into the ring. This mixture now goes into the fridge. This is the one that's been fermenting for two weeks. And as you can see, it's got a solidified top on. So what will happen within three to four days, this cheese will have a solid top on and you will be able to cut with a knife around this ring and then pop the ring off and let the sides also solidify. So when you cut into it, you'll have a nice, rind on the outside and it'll be nice and creamy on the inside. That is so good with pepper. Really nice. 